low tech. Um, okay. I was looking. I was looking for a way to like keep my desktop organized, especially at work. Mm -hmm. um, and I've I've played around with oh, drag everything into folders, do this, do that. But then I have folders strewn about, and I have things in an order. And then I was actually watching a TikTok. And someone said, hey, there's all these desktop background organizer wallpapers hmm. where they actually have, like, if you scroll down in the, the URL is extremely long to remember, but it's, I think, androcollect.blogspot.com. But someone's gone out there and collected all these wallpapers. And what the wallpapers have are either different shaded areas of you know things you need to do, things you need to file, inspirational stuff, the to do you're working on, miscellaneous. Um, so I've actually my work computer. I've actually set my background um, <clears throat> to one of these, and then you, some of them have like blank folder pieces at the top, so you can kind of make them whatever you want to. Um, these wouldn't be too hard to create on your own, especially if you have you know a large res, high res display. Um, you can obviously get way more icons into a lot of these areas. Some people have gotten pretty creative as you go as you go down there. They actually have like um, pictures of shelving units where you can drag your your um, application icons around. And there's like a a, a um, bulletin board on the wall of the picture um, that shows you kind of you can put stuff up on the bulletin board. I thought was kind of cool. Um, but just, just a way to keep things organized, because I don't know about you, but much like the um, unread email notification on my phone, which is currently sitting at 48,844, <laughs> um, my, my desktop tends to get a little cluttered with, with icons and whatnot. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I, I've seen versions of this over the years, but but... You know, and I always wondered if it was worthwhile to do it because I'm getting a little cluttered myself there, Chilla. But my mom... well, and, and, mm -hmm. and what I found myself doing was like, oh, I would just take all the PowerPoint files and drag those into a PowerPoint folder, or I would take all of some document type and, and pull it into a folder. This allows me to like keep a little more of my workflow going, but also mm -hmm. kind of keeps me more folders with projects or or other types of information rather than just sorting by type and, and dragging and dropping or sort of searching for keywords and just hoping hoping for the best. Mm -hmm. 